dear students i am dr shikha pande associate professor from the institute of aeronautical engineering so uh, in this uh, lecture series session of this uh, environmental studies subject today i am going to discuss about the municipal solid waste management and handling rules 2000 so let's start this lecture with, with uh, the basics of municipal solid waste and the lecture flow will go like that first we will discuss about the municipal solid waste and the examples of municipal solid waste and what it is this municipal solid waste and how much uh, waste is generated in india and why this in solid waste management rule is important for our country and uh, then we'll discuss about the provisions and penalties and the uh, and all the man management and handling rules that has been given in that uh, municipal solid waste rule so first let's starts the lecture with the basic definition of this municipal solid waste municipal solid waste consists of everyday items such as product packaging yard trimming furniture clothing bottles cans food newspaper appliances electronics and batteries means municipal solid waste are those waste that is generated from our household activities means our day to day or daily life activity those waste that is generated from our daily daily activity from our household are called as municipal solid waste and municipal solid waste now sorted into their six categories and this first category is the food residue means those residue those waste that is generating from the kitchen waste is come coming under the food residue means any um, means leftover food or or the leaf and vegetables cuttings and all these things come come under the category of food residue next is the wood waste means like any waste that contains wood coming under the category of wood waste and then paper waste is also there paper waste is the the waste the, the packaging papers on new on newspaper or some waste paper is comes under the category of papers then textile waste textile is also the some cloths any discarded material that comes under the examples of this textile and then some plastic waste and then rubber waste so this municipal solid waste are those waste that is generated from our daily day to day activities and that is been generated from our household activities and that msw municipal solid waste is divided in under under six category first we first is the food waste wood waste paper waste textile waste plastic waste and rubber waste so all these are the different kind of waste that comes under a house comes from any household activity from any daily activity either it is from waste generated from a college waste generated from a school or waste generated from the household activity means waste generated at every municipality level is called as municipal solid waste and at that municipality level or at that daily activity or daily waste generated from the household activity will consist of these kind of waste only because and other than this waste like some hazardous waste is there some uh, battery waste is there that comes under the category of hazardous hazardous category if some uh, waste generated from the hospital then that waste is called as biomedical waste and that will go under the category of biomedical waste so in municipal solid waste we are only considering those waste that is generating from our daily activity from a human being that waste that can be generated from a human being human being daily activities so these kind of waste can be uh, can be produced at any uh, at any municipality level either from any school or college or any household activities so again we are uh, there are six categories of this waste that's why this waste is called as municipal solid waste and all these waste can be recycled can be reused and uh, like that municipal solid waste is called as and next is the municipal solid waste includes some commercial and residential waste means that waste that is generated from a commercial activity or from a market from a canteen from a restaurant college canteen restaurant and hotels and residential waste that is uh, those waste from our household activity in any municipal or notified areas in either solid or semi solid semi solid form and then we are excluding the industrial hazardous waste but including treated by bio biomedical waste into this municipal solid waste management rules but this solid waste management rule has been made for those waste that has been generated from a commercial activity or residential activity and sometimes they will consider the biomedical waste also but after the treatment of this biomedical waste that can be considered under this municipal solid waste so this is all about the municipal solid waste and municipal solid waste rule 
this rule has been made for the treatment and proper disposal of this municipal solid waste and that solid waste is generated from any commercial activity or residential activity and that can be notified to any area in either solid or semi solid form that is excluding the hazardous waste but in treated but they are including the treated biomedical waste that's why the uh, municipal solid waste management and handling rule 2000 has been made and this rule is also coming under the ep act as we have already discussed that environment protection act is an umbrella act like they will cover all the legislation related with the environment so that is also generated this municipal solid waste management and handling rule has been generated from this ep act 1986 and uh, this is the waste minimization so first of all what is the main basics of the waste produced in india that is about the minimization of waste now ha huh, solid waste management in india now this is the slide we going we are going to discuss about the basic status of that uh, municipal solid waste in india means uh, what is the status of that uh, municipal solid waste into the india so india is the second largest nation in the world with a population of 1.21 billion that is accounting for nearly 18% of the world's human population that is responsible for nearly 18% of the world's human population means india is having 1.21 billion people and they are nearly 18% of total world population and the proportion of population residing in urban areas has increased from 20, 27% in 2001 to 31% in 2011 and that is likely to reach 50% by 2030 and india is facing a sharp contrast between its increasing urban population and available services and resources and solid waste management is one such service where india has an enormous gap to fill because the those country that are developed nation they have good management of the solid waste municipal solid waste disposal and handling and india is not having any kind of management of this so that if india will provide a better management provide a better better uh, labors for this and solid waste management then more jobs are created and due to the creation of jobs more more people will get get working and they will get more jobs then that will help in the improvement of economy also that's why some some country many country already developed nation is has their improved improved uh, municipal solid system and they have more jobs like that it is estimated that urban india generates about 1.5 lakhs tons per per day means the urban india that generate around 1.5 lakhs tons per day of solid waste and this is the scenario of india in the solid waste management india is having a very largest pollution population and it is nearly 18% of the world's total population and the if the solid waste management services in india is very weak and that is in this term india is lacking with the with the with the other developed nation so it is estimated that urban india generates about 1.5 lakhs tons of municipal solid waste per day and this is too much and that's why that solid waste management is very much important and the per capita waste generation rate in india, india has increased from 0.44 kg per day has increased from 0.44 kg per day in 2001 to 0.5 kg per day in 2011 it has been given of the census of the 2011 like the the per capita waste generation rate has been increased to up 0.5 kg per day means a single person can generate up to 0.5 kg of 0.5 kg of municipal solid waste per day means that is too much like if any normal person is producing a solid waste of 0.5 kg per day every day any any individual any person is producing up to 0.5 kg means half kg of of pop, of municipal solid waste daily and this is a waste generation in indian cities range between 200 to 817 grams per day means all cities indian city the uh, the range is that 200 to 817 grams per day depending upon the region's lifestyle and size of the city the per capita waste generation is increasing by about 1.3 percent per year in india that waste generation is increasing by, by of 1.3 percent per year in india 
this is the scenario of india in case of municipal solid waste and that is very much increasing from previous sense previous report because india is having a very high population due to high population more number of more more solid waste is there and more solid waste proper management and proper handling of that solid waste is much important that's why india is coming under the developing country because the proper waste management in india is yet not implemented nowadays government is very strict about the handling and storage and everything of that solid waste management because solid waste management will give if if you, you will go on the r3 principle of solid waste management some if some resource we can also extract from this solid waste and by extracting some resource from the solid waste we can extract manures we can we can get electricity from this solid waste also and we can get a biogas plant with the solid waste that will be very much helpful and we can convert the waste into a useful product now comes to the next point this is about the the minimization of uh, solid waste so the minimization of solid waste is much important because because is that for the prevention of waste being created is called as waste reduction waste reduction is very much important and it is a very important method in terms of waste management waste management is working under the principle of r3 principle 3r principle 3r principle means reduce reduce reuse and recycle so these are the three r principle of this waste minimization and the this is the modern concept that is 3r reduce reuse and recycle and the method of avoidance includes reuse of second hand project designing products to be refilled or reusable repairing bro broken item instead of buy new items so this is the up things we can do as a citizen of india as a citizen of our country we can do some uh, towards the good step towards the waste minimization so towards waste minimization we can do we can repair broken item instead of buying a new item we can we can go on the recycling of products we can reduce the waste waste production so in that way uh, we can go go towards the better waste minimization system and you can see in the picture first one is that the avoidance we can avoid for buying new items we can up to some time up to some extent not totally but up to some extent we can ignore to buy a new item that is not much necessary so if we will start ignoring so buy an um, items buy a um, more items then op op automatically then uh, this this avoidance will work for the reduction of our waste and next is the reduction so after avoidance you can get the reduction reduction of the waste production next is we can reuse anything if we will we'll, if the reuse will increase reuse we can re start reusing all the substances then all the things whichever we have then reuse will work and next is the recycling recycling is also very much important in in the waste minimization and then disposal of the waste in a proper manner so if we will dispose any waste in their proper manner then solid waste management will work if you are going to uh, going to spread the municipal solid waste and daily garbage into any rare place then that will create a pollution nuisance to the that environment and that will create some diseases and this is in this way some water borne diseases many this is very much dangerous for a human being and human health that's why waste minimization and waste municipal solid waste implementation management and handling is very much important so disposal proper disposal proper recycling and proper reduction of the waste is very much important because waste is nowadays waste is a biggest problem because every every person in india it has been given in a report like any person can produce up to 0.5 kg of a municipal solid waste per day so with the their treatment and disposal is very much important because we don't have that much of land to dispose all this uh, solid waste into any area because disposal will create some if you will dispose this um, solid waste in a open dumping site then that will be some flies is there some dogs are there some uh, disease will uh, will come and that will be very much infectious of that place and that is uh, that place will become a totally disaster due to the bad smell due to the uh, spreading of the disease that's why open dumping and we can't uh, throw the waste anywhere so the last step that is the disposal of the waste is very much important because 
वेस्ट ऑलरेडी इट हैज बीन गिवन लाइक अ सॉलिड म्यूनसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड हैंडलिंग रूल मैनेजमेंट एंड हैंडलिंग इज देयर नाउ कम्स टू द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट इज अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अनसाइंटिफिक म्यूनसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट डिस्पोजल सो दिस इज द इफ विल विल डिस्पोज दैट म्यूनसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट इन एन अनसाइंटिफिक मैनर सो वॉट विल हैपन what will happen it, it is a scenario in india is like only about 70 to 80% of municipal solid waste get get collected and out of this only 22 to 28% is processed and treated and remaining remaining is disposed of indiscriminately at dump yard it is projected by the wind by the end of 2031 the ms zero generation shall increase to 165 million tons and the 436 million ton by 2050 so it has been given that the it is a only a, um, probably up to 70 to 80% of the M msw that has been collected that has been processed and only up to from that only 22% to 28% is processed and treated and the remaining solid waste is disposed of and uh, disposed in an in, indiscriminately at dump yard and that that is showing that from that data we can say that up to the year 2050 that um, municipal solid waste generation shall increase from to 165 millions to 436 millions ton by 2050 and the, as per the reports of the task force on earth planning commission the un untapped waste has a potential of generating 439 mega power mega power of megawatt of power 439 m megawatt of power and from 32890 td tpd of combustible waste including refuse derived fuel cell and 1.3 million cubic meter of biogas per day or 72 m megawatt of electricity from biogas and 5.4 million metric ton of compost annually to support agriculture so they they are a very good future of our solid solid waste management in india if we will get uh, our data has been given from an uh, task force of uh, planning commission they have they said that if we will plan our solid waste in a, in a proper manner then from the refuse derived cell 1.3 million cubic meter of biogas per day we can get or 72 megawatt of electricity from biogas we can get and 5.4 million metric ton of compost annually we can produce to support the agriculture and that manure is organic in nature organic in nature so if it is organic in nature then that will be not causing much harm and and they are toxic free they are not toxic to any person so if uh, we should be we should be uh, shifting to our should be shift it toward this uh, the use of this kind of manual organic manual because organic manual is a chemical free manuals and they don't have any toxic metal in this so to to support the agriculture government has to do and we uh, that awareness of the production of manual from agriculture is very much important now comes to the next thing that is about the what is this act has been given this municipal solid waste management act 2000 what has been given in that, that act it is all about the management and handling of municipal solid waste rules 2000 and it has a specific directive to the local bodies district administration and the urban development departments of the state government for the proper and scientific management of municipal solid waste so they have given directives to the local bodies district administration and the urban development department of the state government for proper and scientific management of municipal solid waste so under this rule it is mandatory for all the urban local bodies to provide facilities for the collection collection transportation treatment and disposal of municipal solid waste waste in a scientific and hygienic man manner so main just main theme of this municipal solid waste rule is that they will provide facilities for the local bodies and it is mandatory for all the municipality to provide facility for the collection transportation treatment and disposal of municipal solid waste in a scientific and hygienic manner so the provision that has been given in this in this municipal solid waste rule is the collection transportation and uh, treatments treatment and disposal of municipal solid waste in a scientific and hygienic manner so this that are the main provision that has been discussed in this municipal solid waste rule 
basically this this rule is all about the collection transportation treatment and disposal of municipal solid waste in a scientific and hygienic manner and now comes to the next thing that what the provision they has been given in the municipal solid waste and it it is applicable to the every municipality authority that municipal authority they are the responsible for the collection segregation storage transportation processing and disposal of municipal solid waste so uh, all the authority of municipal solid waste authority applicable has a responsible for the collection segregation storage transportation processing and disposal of municipal solid waste and the the rules contain four schedule that that are the these are the four schedule that is present in that municipal solid waste rule first one is that a schedule one that is related to the implementation schedules means this schedule one is related with the implementation of that uh, rules inside all the municipality of the india next schedule is about the specification relating to the collection segregation storage transportation processing disposal of municipal solid waste means a basic manual basic uh, all details about the specification and details related to the collection of the waste how to collect and how to then the proper collection of the waste and then segregation to segregate at a proper place and how where to segregate the paper waste food waste plastic waste rubber waste all this way segregation should be the rules of segregation has been discussed and then it's a storage into a proper place and then transportation of that that uh, waste into the the dumping site or into the landfill site and then it's a processing and how to processing if a paper waste is there what to do with that waste how to do then the processing or disposal of that waste and if rubber waste is there so then how to do the disposal and processing of that waste and next point is about the specification of land filling indicates then schedule 3 is there schedule 3 is the, about the specification that has been given for the landfill and that will indicate the site selection for the landfill because uh, landfill should be out outskirt of the city it should not within the within the city and the, then is the facilities at the site specification for the land filling pollution prevention water quality monitoring of the landfill site ambient air quality monitoring plantation at landfill site closure of landfill sites and post care these are all of the points that has been discussed in the schedule 3 that is all related with the landfills so the site selection for the landfills and then facilities for the landfills specification of landfilling pollution prevention water quality maintenance monitoring ambient air quality monitoring plantation and land at landfill site closure of landfill sites and post care of that landfill site and next is about the schedule 4 of that uh, municipal solid waste rule this is about the uh, waste processing option that will include includes the standards for composting treated leaches leachates and in incinerators so um, the in schedule 4 they have given the standard for the composting methods and then then treated leachates means what to do with the leachates that has been collected from the landfill site and the incineration of the waste incineration which waste should have to do the incineration and then after incineration the waste is there and what to do with that waste so all the basic details like collection of waste and the its storage of waste and its a proper handling of waste and then land filling of the waste and then processing of the waste all these things has been discussed in this solid waste management and handling rule 2000 so now comes to the next thing about the first one is the status of implementation of msw rule now the how this rule has been implemented and how much uh, this municipality has been taken this msw rules and management seriously so assessment of status of solid waste management is based on the annual report being furnished by local bodies to the state pollution control board and uh, annual report to the cp cpcb that is central pollution control board means every local bodies has to be, uh, send their annual reports to their state either their state pollution control board and then that state state board will forward that report to central pollution control board means assessment is doing is important by the cpcb cpcb and state pollution control board will do assessment for that status of the solid waste management and it should be based on the annual report or local by the local bodies means one monitoring authority is also there 
to monitor to under to assess the status of that solid waste management means how much they are applicable and what they are doing for the for the efficiency of that solid waste management rule next is about the assessment of the status of the solid waste management is based on the annual report being furnished by the local state pollution control board and forwarding the consolidated annual report to the cpcp the same point is there now the um, implementation of schedule 2 implementation of schedule 2 as these are the all the schedules that has been discussed in the in the uh, municipal solid waste rule so so the schedule 2 schedule 2 is all about the efforts are being made by the local bodies for creating awareness in the citizen for ensuring proper management of waste including systemization of procedures relating to waste collection segregation storage and transportation means first whatever that is given in the schedule 2 is the efforts would be being made by the local bodies for creating some awareness in the citizen for ensuring proper management of waste that will include the systemization of procedures that is relating with the waste collection waste segregation storage and transportation however such efforts are either restricted to a few localities wards within the town or few you will be taken up such efforts at an entire town level the efforts made by local bodies for bringing improvement in waste collection segregation storage and transportation so this efforts should be made by the local bodies to bring down the improvement in waste collection segregation storage and its transportation cleanliness varies from town to town depending upon the initiative taken by the local body of that town so this is about the schedule 2 and now comes to the schedule 3 this is about the disposal of the waste disposal nowadays disposal is still doing by an open dumping so the uh, implementation has been given by the and the information that is that has been coming from the uh, state board and that they have been made a landfill constructed landfill in, in the all the all the metropolitan cities and of india like uh, bangalore mangalore karwar putu ankola surat and nasik sonipet ahmedabad navi mumbai at other places landfill are under construction or by planning stage means the provision that has been given in that uh, municipal solid waste rule management and handling rule is that every municipality has to dispose of their solid waste into a open uh, into a landfill site means all municipal solid waste uh, municipality has to make their own own landfill site so all uh, major uh, metropolitan cities uh, has constructed their um, landfill site and that are under construction and nowadays now in at present time all cities have their own own kind of landfill and they are disposing their solid waste into the landfills and fourth one is the implementation of schedule 4 this is about the implementation of uh, land and that is about the waste processing waste disposal so there has been a positive movement on setting up a waste pro processing facilities as compared to the efforts made in the previous year in many states several towns has responded responded that there is a partial composting or varvi composting facilities so local bodies have not so far preferred waste to energy projects except in the state of andhra Except only state Andhra is there, but otherwise no local bodies has prepared their state for the vermi composting or partial composting of solid waste. Like vermi composting can also be implemented in, for the organic waste that has been come that has been generated in the from our kitchens or restaurants. And it has been observed that composting and vermi composting is preferred as an easy technological option by local bodies and other options like thermal processing are not attempted due to non-availability of operating experience means that composting and burning composting is they have chosen that option but the incineration and pyrolysis is very tough in the due days and it is not attempted due to non-availability of operating experiences now the is initiative at national level at national levels the CPCV has been formed, that is Central Pollution Control Board M and uh, MOEF, Ministry of Environment and Forest and other central ministries like uh, Ministry of Urban Development and Mist Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Sources have taken initiative to facilitate implementation of MSW rule. Some of the initiative taken are briefly summarized under this. So they, they have taken some initiatives by all together and these are the first cpcb moef and ministry of urban development 
urban development MOUD and Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Sources MNES. They have taken initiative to facilitate implementation of MSW rules and some of the initiative taken are briefly summarized as under. First one is the demonstration project. They have taken initiative in terms of demonstration project. So, uh, in demonstration project, MOEF and CPCB have instituted a scheme for setting up of demonstration project for solid waste management in accordance with solid waste management rule. Objective of the scheme is to demonstrate implementation of MSW rule in an integrated manner. The scheme is based on cost sharing basis where concerned local bodies is required to contribute 50% of the total cost of the project. So, these are the demonstration project that has been given has taken initiative to facilitate the implementation of MSW rule and it, all, it is an all-together activity of a CBCB, MOEF, Ministry of Urban Development and Ministry of non conventional Energy Sources and they have taken initiative for a scheme to setting up of the demonstration project for the solid waste management in accordance with the MSW rules and objective of the scheme is to demonstrate implementation of MSW rule in any integrated manner. So, they will demonstrate the implementation of that uh, MSW rule in an integrated manner, in a comprehensive manner. And this scheme is based on the cost sharing basis where the concerned local body is required to contribute 50% of the total cost of the project. So, they will, they will give demonstration of the project and the local body will require to give the 50% of the total cost of the project. And these are the uh, letters the in, in which the amendment has been done is in this management rule. So, first one is that uh, plastic waste management, management rule has been made in the year 2016. Then, e-waste management rule 2016, biomedical waste management rule 2016, construction and demolition waste management rule 2016, and then hazardous and other waste management rules, and then solid waste management rule. Means, in solid waste management rule, this one is the municipal solid waste rule. This will work for the only for the MSW, municipal solid waste, means those waste that has been generated from uh, our daily residential activity from our household. So that from that they have segregated the plastic waste management and that why they have made a different rule for the plastic waste management because that same rule will not work on the plastic plastic waste because we can't burn the plastic waste or we cannot incinerate, we cannot dump this plastic waste. Next is same for the e-waste because e-waste is the electronic waste. So, they have made different rule, different some amendment they have done for the e-waste management in 2016. Like that, biomedical waste is also segregated because those waste that has been, been generated from the hospitals, cannot come under the category of municipal solid waste. So, biomedical waste is there. Biomedical waste is very much infectious waste and that's why they have made rule for the proper safe and handling of biomedical waste. Like that, construction waste and demolition waste management rule is there. Means the waste that is coming from the construction activity. And next is about the hazardous and other, other waste management rules. Hazardous are those ways that are that have very much uh, ignitable, that are corrosive or toxic in nature. Means those ways that are flammable, flammable, easily flammable or that can be that can be catches fire easily, that are that are very much dangerous. They, they are they are very much corrosive, toxic waste is there that come under the category of hazardous waste. So they have made rule for the hazardous waste also. And next is about the solid waste management rule that we are already studying. So in Amendment has been done to add some new rules for some different different waste. And next is about the main uh, amendment. What they have been done like that the environment ministry have re revised the solid waste management rule after 16 years. Means after 16 years they have revised this rule in the year 2016. These rules are now applicable beyond municipal area and will extend to urban agglomeration, census town, notified industrial trans township. Area under the control of Indian Railway, airports, air airways, ports and harbors, mm -hmm. some defense establishment, spe special economic zones, state and central pollution, central government organizations, place of pilgrim, religious and historical importance. Means this rule is now not only in 2016, they have made provision that this is not only restricted to a municipality not restricted to any municipality. It should be at all places, either it is a railway station, airport 
और एयर बेस पोर्ट एंड हार्बर सम डिफेंस डिफेंस एस्टेब्लिशमेंट इज देयर स्पेशल इकोनॉमिक जोन इज देयर स्टेट एंड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज देयर प्लेस ऑफ पिलग्रिम्स सम टेंपल एंड एवरीवेयर दिस रूल्स शुड बी इंप्लीमेंटेड एंड द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ जनरेटर हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू सेग्रीगेट वेस्ट इनटू थ्री कैटेगरी फर्स्ट वन इज अबाउट द वेट वेस्ट ड्राई वेस्ट एंड हैजार्डस वेस्ट एंड दिस हैज बीन फंक्शनिंग इन एवरीवेयर लाइक इन एयरपोर्ट एंड रेलवे स्टेशन एवरीवेयर यू कैन फाइंड थ्री डस्टबिन फर्स्ट वन इज अबाउट द वेट वेट वेस्ट यू कैन डिस्पोज ड्राई वेस्ट एंड देन हैजार्डस वेस्ट लाइक एंड नेक्स्ट इज अबाउट द जनरेटर विल हैव टू पे यूज फी into the waste collector and a spot fine for littering and non segregation the quantum of which will be decided by the local bodies the integration of rag pickers from the informal sectors the formal sector has been introduced in case of hilly area because the land for construction of sanitary way, uh, sanitary landfill in the hilly area will be identified in the plain area within 25 km that's why the rag pickers should also be shifted into a uh, into a plain area so they will dispose the waste into the landfills now the next amendment is that the all hotels and restaurants should segregate biodegradable waste and set up a system of collection or follow the system of collection by local bodies to ensure that such food waste is utilized for composting or biomethanation all residents welfare and market associations associations gated communicate communities institution within the area of more than 5000 square meter should segregate waste at their source into valuable dry waste like plastic tin glass paper etc and hand over recyclable material to either the authorized waste picker or the authorized recycler or to the urban local bodies means any area that is either it is a market association or some gated community or some institution they have to segregate their uh, the solid waste into their own own level and then they will uh, hand over that waste to the authorized person or any recycler or any local bodies the biodegradable waste should be processed treated and disposed of, of through composting or biomethanation within the premises as far as, as possible means that uh, biodegradable waste can be treated at their own place by the process of biomethanation and uh, composting and the residual waste shall be given to the waste collector or agency as directed by the local authority so the residual waste means they can treat they can process that bio, biodegradable waste at their own level through the process of composting or biomethanation and their by products they can give to the local authority or any agency and next is about the conclusion of that slide that solid waste management rule is the solid waste management is very much important because it will reduce the effects of waste on the environment and health and the, there are many things that needs to be taken for the consideration when discussing about the waste management like the disposal method is important recycling method avoidance and reduction method which should be avoided or what should we should do to reduce the solid waste management and transportation of waste is also much important so waste management is important at it saves the environment from the toxic effect of inorganic and biodegradable elements that is present in the waste and next is about the waste management is becoming more important not just for the environment protection but also as a growing industry of for any economy so this is all about the waste management and handling rule for municipal solid waste management and handling rule we have discussed about the municipal solid waste only municipal solid waste because this municipal solid waste has rule has been made for the waste that is generating from the uh, the residential area or any commercial area and that is again segregated into the pile into the different categories six categories food waste paper waste uh, so paper waste and textile waste and some uh, some plastic waste and some rubber waste and all waste they, they will segregate and they will do the proper kind of management disposal of that waste which which in, in method we can apply for the recovery on for the disposal of that waste so this management rule has been made and in the year 2016 there has been uh, amendment and by by they are differentiating the method for the hazardous waste for the for the biomedical waste they has been given different provision because that msw 
management rule will not work on the hazardous waste management that that will not work on the biomedical waste so that they have made addition in the year 2016 so they will add some rule for the hazardous waste some for the biomedical waste and some some for the plastic waste and that waste management is very much important for our society to reduce the effects of waste to the environment and the health of a person and there are many things that is need to be consideration for a waste management process that is it's a proper disposal and a proper recycling method avoidance and reduction and transportation of waste and it is important and as it save the environment from the toxic effect of inorganic and biodegradable elements present in the waste and waste management is becoming more important not just for environmental protection but also as a growing industry for an economy so thank you that's all about the um, sol municipal solid waste management and handling rule thank you like share and subscribe Hit the bell icon for more updates.